Let's have some fun. One of my subscribers, David Jubb, has asked if I can do a tutorial on creating funny clips, such as memes. So, I'll crack onto that in a minute, but first I'd just like to say sorry for the delay, David, and sorry to anybody else who's waiting on a tutorial request. I promise I'll get around to doing them for you, so please bear with me. Right, before we start, what is a meme? A meme is an image, video, piece of text, etc., typically humorous in nature, that is copied and spread rapidly by internet users, often with slight variations. And that came from the Oxford Dictionary. Basically, as it states, it's an image or a video with a bit of text on that is generally funny and hopefully goes viral on the internet. Right, so let's jump into Filmora and see how we can create memes. In Filmora, there are three ways we can create funny clips or memes. I'll keep calling them memes from now on, it's easier. Well, it's easier at the moment, I'll probably get tongue tied a bit later, but at the moment, memes is okay to say, so I'll keep calling them them. So yes, there's three places, or sorry, three ways we can create them. We can use one of the many templates within Filmora, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. We can create them from scratch. Again, I'll show you how to do that. And we can also use Filmora's built-in AI image creation tool. So I'll go through all three of them. Let's jump in. Right, the first place we can find meme templates is in titles. So if you go to titles and open the titles tab, down there you will see, where is it now? There you go, about halfway down or maybe a bit more, memes. Now if you click on one of them, you can see that's basically what a meme is. I am in shape, <laughs> round as a shape. I love that one. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. There's a cat. Wait, it's only Tuesday. Some are funny, some I don't understand, but that, again, that's probably because I'm 57 years of age. <laughs> yeah, I know I don't look it. I know, yeah, thank you. <laughs> right, the third one. What was that one? I missed that one. Did someone say Friday? So it's, you know, a, a funny little caption on a funny little picture. So there's plenty to choose from there. You've also got actual um, title text as well that you can use. So download any of them. Let's have a look a bit further down. Yeah, you've got some other ones. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. So we can just add these onto our own um, image, and we'll do that a bit later on. You can also find meme templates under stickers. So go to stickers. Make sure you've got the stickers tab open. And again, I think it's a bit further down than this one. Yep, it's a bit further down under travel. Memes there. Click on one. And these are for you to add your own text. Some of them, some of them are text on as well, like happy birthday and stuff like that. But because it's a sticker, you can't change the text. I don't think you can. Let me just have a quick check. Two hours later. Yes, I was right. You can't change the text because it's a sticker. It's not a title. But if it's a happy birthday one you want, these look great. And then you can also add your text over anyway, if it hasn't already got text on. Like for example, that's got no text on. You can put happy birthday or write whatever you want. This one has text on, but you could also add, say, somebody's name. So yeah, the stickers are good. They're quite good little memes on there. And again, there's plenty to choose from. And you can also find meme templates under templates. So make sure you've got the templates tab open and you can see new there, memes. If you click on there, there's plenty of memes in there as well. A few moments later. Strange. <laughs> Um, I haven't looked at some of these. This one's just downloading, as you can see. So let's see what that one is. Right. Let's try another one. See, I don't understand these. <laughs> I don't find that funny. But uh, again, that could be my age. Maybe you do. So yeah, there's plenty of templates under there as well, under the templates section. So let's just go back to our titles one. Let's use the very first one, drag it down onto the timeline. And there we go. I'm in shape, round as a shape, brilliant. You can add music on there and effects if you want to, or sound effects, sorry. Now let's go to titles. Because this is a title 
meme, we can actually change the titles or the text within the title. So round as a shape, let me just change, just to prove it, let me just put oval. I'll make it all capitals. Oval as a shape. And I'll just change the top text to, um, I am John, oval as a shape. I know it doesn't make sense, but let's have a look. There you go. So you can change the text in them. So they're good templates to use. So let's use a template with text as well. So let's go under the stickers section. So click on stickers. Let's scroll down and find something. A shocked cat. There you go. I'll use a shocked cat as the image. So I'll drag that down onto the timeline. I'll now put some text on there. In fact, what can I use? Let's have a look at the memes titles, see what they're like. Title text. Anything there? Yeah, I'll use this one. So let me just drag that onto the top. And I'm just going to move in so I can see all of the text. And I'm going to change the top text. I don't know why the background disappears when you're changing the text here, but it doesn't matter. You don't really need to see it at this moment in time. I'm going to get that to say they were there. Now that's way too big that uh, that text so just click on the font size there and change it down to something a bit smaller let's try 68 and again i'll change this text to say when i went to <laughs> to the vets i make myself laugh <laughs> exclamation mark we all know what we're talking about there and again, I'll change that text size or the font size, should I say, to something that just fits in. Yeah, that's fine. I'll drag it down to the bottom, that one. And I'll drag that one up to the top. Okay, let's go to the start of the clip and just see what it looks like. They were there when I went to the vets. <laughs> now again, you can put a bit of um, music in there. So let me just go to audio, music, and we'll want funny music. So let's see what comes up with the word funny. Fun time. Let's, let's listen to that. That'll do. I'll drag that down underneath. Now there's a big space there, so it's, it doesn't start straight away. So what I'm gonna do is move that along so the music actually starts straight away and drag it across, go back to the start, Let's listen to that. So there you go. That's um, a good little meme created using templates. So let's delete that. Let's look at creating our own from scratch. So let's get some stock media. Let's go to stock media pixels and type in shocked cat again. Let's search for something there on the photos. I'll use a landscape orientation hope I said that correctly then now we're looking for a shocked cat's face let me just scroll down see what's here see what we can use <laughs> some good ones could be used there that looks oh yeah that's a good one let me just drag this down and it's a photo not a video by the way I've chose I've chose a photograph as you can see there so I'll use photographs for all these examples but you can use videos it's the same Let's have a look at this cat's face. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. So we want to add the same text in there. They were there before I went to the vets. So let's go to titles. And what I want to do now, I want to make it into like a speech bubble. So if you just go to titles and search for bubble. If I can spell it properly. Do you know, my, my, my sausage fingers are terrible on the keyboard, they really are. And search for bubble. Okay, that'll bring up speech bubbles. Let's just drag down the first one, put it on top of the track, and we'll click on it and change the text to read. Actually, I'll move in first to where I can see all of the text. There we go. So I'll now change the text. Where it says your text, I'll put they were there. And then underneath, I'll put before I went to the vets. <laughs> exclamation mark now the text at the bottom is a little bit big so what you can do is you can change the font size here 
or you can just click and drag the handle there and that might be easier because you can get a, a good size then to fit in and then just move it inside the, the actual speech bubble. Now the whole thing itself is obviously too big. In fact the speech bubble as you can see is probably pointing the wrong way so I'm going to go to the image and I'm going to flip the image by clicking on there so that the speech bubble will look like it's coming out of the cat's mouth. If that made sense, hopefully it did. That part of the speech bubble would look better coming from that side of the cat. Okay, right, like I said, the whole um, speech bubble is way too big. So if we click on the speech bubble and click on the video tab, this will then scale the speech bubble and the text down all in one go instead of doing it individually. So let's just scale that down. That's okay, I'll move it across. I'll move it up a bit. I'll rotate it so it looks like it's coming out the cat's mouth again. And again, I'll keep moving it over until I think it looks okay. Move it a bit further up. That'll do. So let's see what that looks like. Go from the start. <laughs> there you go. Let's use the same music again, audio. Let's search for funny. And we'll drag that down. Again, I'll remove this um, dead space here because the music doesn't start straight away. Let me just shrink that down, move it across to the start, and let's see what that looks like. There you go. So we've now created a meme with templates. We've created our own. Let's see what image AI can do. So let's just go to our media tab. We want AI image. And we're going to create the face of a shocked cat. So just wait for it to load. It might take a second or two. In here, I'm just simply going to type the face of a shocked cat. Let's see what that does. I'll leave it on 16.9 and I want it to be CGI, I think. Let me just check. I'll create one. If I don't like it, I'll just create another one. Now it might take a minute or two because it's, um, it's still in early stages, the AI for Filmora. It is starting to generate. There we go. That's not too bad. Let me just see with the same prompt. Let me just see what ACG does. I have no idea what that means. Is it ACG or AOG? Whatever it is, let's see what it does. Eh? That's quite good. Actually, that'll look good as a meme. I'll use that one. And if you want to keep this one, just simply click on the, this button here and it'll download it into your Filmora for you. So there you go, it's put into your media, brilliant. Let's drag that down. Let's again use a speech bubble title. Let's use a different one this time. Um, so the cat's facing that way. So that might be a good one to, to do. You can see it's facing the right way, the little speech bubble. There's one there. Um, let's have a look, what else can we use? Let's try that one. So I'll click on that, it'll download. Yeah, that'll be okay. I'll put that onto the timeline above. I'll go in so we can see all of the speech bubble and the text. I'll change the text now. There's just one text box here, so that's good. They were there before I went to the vets. <laughs> see, it made myself laugh again. <laughs> I'm so funny at times, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, so let me just increase that font. Make that a bit bigger. I'll split the line up a bit more actually. So let's put my cursor there, press enter. I'll move this text back up onto the next line and I'll put to the vets on the last line. That looks better. I should be able to get it bigger now. Yeah, that's better. In fact, I'm gonna play around with the fonts as well. So I'm going to go to advanced and we get better options here. This is just showing the fonts, it's not showing the background and that. I want the font to be, where are we? The color fill, I want the font to be white. And then I'm going to put an outline, a black outline. So click on outline, change that to black. And there you can see it better now. Thickness is 10, probably a bit too thick. Make that maybe six. That looks okay. Apply that, there you go, stands out a little bit better. I'm just going to move the text slightly 
So I'm just going to click and drag and recenter. Okay. Now the whole text itself and the bubble needs to be moved. So we click on the actual text and bubble track. Don't forget we need to go to video because we're moving the whole video, not just the title. And then we can start moving it about wherever we want. And we can resize it as well. So let me just maybe move it over there. I don't think get it much bigger because I don't want to go over the cat's face if I can help it too much. So I'll leave it there. I'll rotate it slightly. I might get away with that. And move it down a bit more. I might make that just slightly smaller. And again, move it across. And down. So it's near the edge of the frame. That's not too bad. Let's have a look at that. Go from the start. Play. They were there before I went to the beds. <laughs> now you can see the way that text came in before the speech bubble. See? Strange. You can fix that. All you need to do is make sure you're in the middle. Click once on the timeline. Sorry, bubble and text clip. And then go to titles. Make sure you're on the titles tab. Because if you're on the video tab, you won't see advanced at the bottom here. But if you go to the titles tab, you can click on advanced. And this is where you can play with how fast the title comes in, the text title. At the moment, see it comes in a bit too fast. So I'm going to drag that slider down there. That's the fade in. Let's try that. Okay, still a bit too fast. So it's coming in too quick. Not only is it fading in too quick, it's actually coming in too quick. So we need to drag that down a bit more. Let's try that. Okay, bubble first and then the text. So maybe just a bit too slow. Let's drag that back again. I'll drag the fade back. And it's a case of playing around until you're happy with it. That's better. So we'll apply that. Go back to the beginning, see what that looks like. Yeah, that worked better. So there you go. Three ways in film order that you can create funny clips or memes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. As always, I really, really do appreciate it. If you did like this video and you like any of my other videos, please remember to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. As always, thank you very much for watching. Now go have some fun. And don't forget, if you do create some memes, drop them in the comments below. I would love to see them.